Okay, for formatting a hard drive, it's also really simple. On a Macintosh, I'm going to double click and um, do a find for something called disk utility. There it is. I'll show you where it lives. It lives in your hard drive in the applications folder in a folder called utilities. We're going to double click on it. And it's gathering your disk information. Here's my drive. You see I dismounted it so that I don't make the mistake of formatting it. That's why it's grayed out. And here is Vincent's drive. So we're going to click on Vincent's drive. And it shows us the detail. There's a lot you can do here. If you're having trouble with your disk, you can run a repair on it, which diagnoses the problem and attempts to fix it. Um, what we want to do is erase the disk and reformat it. So I went ahead and clicked on Erase. We're interested in using the MS-DOS FAT format. This is cross-compatible between a Mac and a PC. The clincher is that once I format this drive, it's going to erase everything on the drive. So be sure that you have any information off and stored elsewhere that you might want to keep. You can change the name of the drive later, but I'll go ahead and put your name on it now. And choose their security options. Don't worry about those. I'm going to choose Erase, and it should be rather quickly. A reminder, are you sure you want to erase the disk? It is going to delete all the data. Yes. It doesn't take, oh, OK. Let's try this one here. Let's see if that, it likes that better. No, nope. it didn't like it for some reason. Try it again. It didn't like it. I've never seen that before. Not sure what to make of it. Let's run a um, repair on the disk. It may be that it just doesn't like your drive for some reason. Are you using it on a PC and a Macintosh? Just a Macintosh? So you should be OK. It's really the PC folks that I'm worried about here. Um, so this one might have been pre-formatted for the Macintosh, and that's why it's not responding. But the rest of you hopefully won't have a problem. I'm going to go ahead and remount my disk. So if you ever have a disk that's plugged in, but unmounts itself, you can, instead of plugging it, unplugging it, and plugging it back in, you can use the software to remount the disk. OK? So try it. See if it works for you. It didn't work for the demonstration, but hopefully it will work for you.